Cruz, good to see you. First of all, uh, how are you coping with, with the lockdown? Yeah, I've gone through stages with it, mate, to be honest. Um, at, the, at first, I really struggled with, like, you know, just being stuck indoors with the weather being really nice outside, um, you know. And then now, and then I went through a stage of getting used to it, started to get into a routine with it, started to, you know, get up normal daily routine, do my rehab, uh, then go, go train, go on a bike ride. And then I'm starting to get back into that routine. I starting just want it to be lifted now. Just want it. Just want to get out there. And obviously, when the lockdown came, you were out through injury at that stage. Uh, how, how are you managing to get yourself back up to full fitness? Yeah, well, you know, we've got. I've got. I'm doing daily um, calls with, with uh, you know physios and stuff like that to make sure that to make sure that I get all my rehab in and what I need to do, which is brilliant for me, uh, and I can concentrate and more more more. More than all else is just the time to get get the rest in as well. I've, I've been able to get enough rest in, um, you know, with with my days off and stuff like that. So that's that's moving along really well. Feel really strong as well through my legs. So it's just I just need to get back running now. And once we get back playing, you won't have missed that many games. So it's uh, perhaps a silver lining of the lockdown. Yeah, um, it's a blessing, mate. Really, I'm probably one of the only people through this lockdown that's that's selfishly a little bit happy about. It because, like, say, I won't miss too many games. And you're putting your time to, to good use uh, away from it on, on the e gaming. Uh, David Fafita set up a bit of a bit of a fundraiser this weekend. You're you're, you're going to jump on that? Yeah, well, I um, I'm good mates. Is the Suma Tiger that plays for Huddersfield? So we play against him a couple of times, uh, and he and he's in that he's he's in that crew. So he uh, he challenged us to 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 get involved in that with him, which. I think he's brilliant for charity. Something that um, you know we'll, we en we enjoy doing, and if that's the only little bit that we can do to help, then I'm, I'm more than happy to help him do that. So yeah, we're gonna. I think it might start tonight. We're gonna go for as long as we can uh, and just help him help him raise some money. And Call of Duty is your your particular poison. How, how are you getting on with that? Yeah, um, well, I've got a, I've got a couple of good mates that really enjoy it. I'm not really a gamer, to be honest, mate. I'd rather be outside, but obviously during the circumstances, struggling a little bit. So I've got, I've taken it up, um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's a good laugh. We're on mic, all on headsets, and uh, we're getting into each other a little bit. So yeah, it's a good laugh. That's a nice thing that the David Feeter and the guys have now pulled together. They're asking fans to get involved as well, and obviously players from other clubs. It's a nice bit of social interaction when we're all stuck in our houses. Yeah, is uh, that, that's the bit that I play for really more than all else is to get on headset. It feels like you're you're surrounded by all your mates and you're all having a laugh on it and stuff. But yeah, to to get everybody involved when when um, when you know the sat at home doing no, it's why not? Why not have, have a few games, have a laugh, and you know if we can raise some money for charity, then that's that's even better.